Pensy here, the Frugal Crafter. I want to thank you so much for your feedback on my DIY shimmer pens the other day. I was trying to capture the look of Winkastellas, but um, it was too opaque. And so here's what I came up with that I think worked the best. And I'm using these little empty um, paint pens that you can get a set of three at the craft store. I know AC Moore has them. Um, and they are by Royal Brush Company. And let me see. Let me just take a look at that. Does that capture the look? of a Wink Estella. I think it does, gauging by what I could see online from other tutorials, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, I will tell you, the green one is the best. That's the best out of all the sizes in the three-pack. The white, the, the red one is fine tipped, but it tends to, um, it tends not to let the glitter pass through that well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use gold for this one. I'm just doing a few clear colors, basically. Whoops, and I'm spilling it all over the place. I am going to fill the barrel first with glitter, and I'm, I'm not going to fill it all the way. I'm going to go about an inch of glitter from the, the bottom of the barrel. I just can pour it in here with my little makeshift funnel, just a little piece of scrap of paper. Want a little bit more than that. And the secret ingredient for this, this is microfine glitter, by the way. You can use superfine or microfine. My, the, the, the smaller the glitter, the better, though. And this microfine I, fine, I picked up at a stamp show about a year ago, maybe two years ago. So there, you can see I've got about an inch or a little more of glitter. And then you want to put in your future floor wax. And this is just a really lightweight acrylic sealer. And it, is, it takes a little finesse. You want to kind of drip it. And you're going to get, you're going to, it's going to just kind of form a very thin stream. And it's going to be a little messy. And you want to fill it almost all the way to the top because you don't want too much air in there. Oh, there. So I have a little mess there. Nothing too serious. And then you are going to have to be kind of aggressive with it to get it first mixed up because that glitter at the bottom isn't going to want to move. Luckily, my camera is no longer um, attached to a tripod on the table, so I can do that. And it's not all moving yet, so I think maybe if I cap, cap it off and really give it a good, good shake, I can get it to dislodge. It happened with the other one. That's just par for the course. It's not all mixed up, but... You know, let me throw the cap on there and just shake her up good. So I've made a couple of these, and this is as smooth as it gets. <laughs> All right, we're really starting to move now. All right, I think as it, um, as it kind of, you know, mixes up, it's going to work a lot better. So here, then you give it this little squeeze and woo, it's a lot's going to come out at the beginning because you've got, you just shook all that into the cap. But after you've let it sit, all you want to do is kind of rock it back and forth to get that glitter moving and then just brush it on your paper projects. I figured I would do a gold, kind of the champagne-y color and um, a clear silvery color just so I'd have it for projects for the holidays. And um, there you go, a very subtle shimmer of color similar to your Wink of Stella pens uh, for less than what you pay for the Wink of Stella pen. So you could get, you could do three brushes for uh, six bucks plus glitter that you probably already have in your stash. So there you have it. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please check out my other homemade craft and art supplies. Give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy crafting.